Welcome to Media Animal TV. Well, I've covered a lot of animal stories in my time, but this is a first for me. We're about to enter the world of cat shows. Who are we going to meet? What are we going to find? Let's go and check it out. My best friend. We nicknamed him McMeow. She wins a lot of hearts. <laughs> he doesn't like me. But look at him, isn't he beautiful? Tell us what's going to happen here today. What can we expect? You will see lots of, of beautiful breeds of cats in immaculate condition. And if they can go home with ribbons or prizes or product or whatever else, it's been a good day for them. Look who I found at the cat show. Remember, Dr. Evil? This is a cat that appeared in Austin Powers. He's a sphinx. He's bred to have no hair. I think he's beautiful. He's like a hot water bottle. This is one regal looking cat. This is Mufasa. We are going to get Mufasa ready for the show today, so tell me what we need to do. Right, well we bathed him, so we're ready to make sure now that the eyes, there's no like sleep in your eyes. Then we look at the ears and we clean the ears out. We brush the cat on this outer coat, this waterproof coat. That's it. I think he really likes this. And I want the name of Mufasa's conditioner, he's so soft. Okay, so we've showered him, we've, we've shampooed him, him. him, we've brushed him, now what? Ready for the show, we get the cage, get our curtains all washed and ironed and off we go to the show. Yes, about the cages. People go to a lot of trouble for the cages well, to make them look so nice. What's that about? It is a beauty competition and the colour of your curtain can actually highlight the colour in the cat or the markings of the cat. Why pink? Because it suits her better. I've tried her with the red that I've got for my toy boy and it looks bleh. A British shorthead. The cage is all done out very British, of course. You look like you were having a bit of a one on one. Well, I was. <laughs> what were you saying to him? I'm learning energy treatment for um, healing of animals. What I do is I just sit quietly and I connect with my cat and I just give them rose pink energy and it calms them down and it softens them because rose pink is for love and he's very, very relaxed, so it works. This is Prince Casimir, yeah. and he's a blue bicolour ragdoll. They let you know when they want to go, like she is now. <laughs> Him in? Sorry. He's, uh, it's all right, he's, um, he's, he's a, bit, a, bit, yeah. Uh, yeah, a bit late in the day. Yeah. <laughs> She's looking a bit creepy. <laughs> How long does it take uh, to become a, a judge like you? It can take up to about five years or ten years. We do a, an assignment on every breed of cat. Not only do you do a written assignment, you've actually got to do a practical assignment in front of another all breeds judge. You need to be um, very diplomatic. What is it about these cat shows that, that sort of appeals to you? Um, the people, the fun. We just bring him because he likes to talk to everybody. I just love them. <laughs> They are my passion. <laughs> He's pretty much my baby. I love it a bit. Well, it looks like all the dedication and hard work has paid up for this pussy because he's won top cat today and his name's Heaven Sent, so he wouldn't get a better name than that. Well done. I have to admit, when I started this story, I was more of a dog lover. But after covering it, I think I could be converted. I think I've met some pretty cool cats here today. Don't forget to check out MediaAnimal.tv.